And my next running back is Rashad Penny. Uh, he is currently going in the middle of the eighth round, 91st overall. Um, Fantastic value. <clears throat> that's freaking crazy value is what it is. Penny finished the last five weeks as the overall RB1. RB1 overall in fantasy last season. Uh, he averaged just over 18 carries a game and 130 plus rushing yards over that five game stretch. Um, you know, they drafted Kenneth Walker the third. He's the Doak Walker, best college running back, unanimous All American. Um, they reached up to get him. He will be. That's, that's the only concern that you should have about Penny. He will be at some point. I think the Seahawks starting running back, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be some point this year. Um, Rashad Penny is on a one year, almost six million dollar deal. Chris Carson retired. Um, if you think back to just a few three seasons ago, four seasons ago, when Rashad Penny was drafted in the first round, let me let me remind you, he is a first round talent. When he was drafted in the first round, Pete Carroll did not hand the job over to Rashad Penny. He made Rashad Penny earn that. And honestly, he couldn't. Chris Carson didn't let go. Rashad Penny really only got in after Carson, who is a violent runner, got injured. Um, so any, when Carson came back, it was kind of a split and then Penny got hurt and then it was Carson's gig and it's been Carson's job. Quite honestly, when he's been healthy last year, he had the neck fusion surgery out indefinitely at the end of last season. Um, thankfully had fused, retired. yeah, thankfully retired. Um, so if you're going to lose a running back, of Chris Carson's caliber, you need somebody behind Penny who has had his own injury issues. Hello, uh, Kenneth Walker, the third, you know, it's, it's an easy fill, easy need for them. Um, I just, I really don't think that Walker is going to be able to stay on the field, especially in passing situations. Uh, rookies are just notorious for being slow to pick up pass coverages um, in order to stay on the field. And so because of that, I think Penny at, at a minimum will have third down duties. But again, I think to start the season, it's really going to be his job to lose. And he's shown that he has the ability to be an outstanding running back and in the middle of the eighth round to get a potential RB one, you could do so much worse than that. So, yeah, I find it really interesting that Kenneth Walker is going, uh, pick 74, uh, and Penny's going at 91. Um, I, I, I'm taking Penny over that head and shoulders. I'm drafting yeah, Penny uh, ahead of Kenneth Walker. And, and yeah. what I, the only thing I'm going to add before you give your take is that if there is no a take. single coach in this league that gives more BS coach speak, it is Pete Carroll. He is going to say X, Y, and Z about Kenneth Walker. It's all freaking noise. It is all noise. Until week one comes and Kenneth Walker starts or has the majority snap share, it's Penny's job. And I so I'm, I'm taking Penny everywhere. I have so many shares of him. Um, I think you can do a lot worse than Rashad Penny in the middle rounds of your drafts. Yeah, and I'm, I would not uh, say you should take both of them. But the, the value on Penny is so good. Yeah. That may, maybe you could almost justify. I mean, you're going to get a starting running back on a team that's going to run the ball a ton, that doesn't have a great quarterback. And so... They're going to run the ball. They're going to play action off of it. And then they're going to throw bombs to DK and, and lock it. 